Well, hello, my peoples. How are we doing today? Question of the day. Garden fleece. Is it worth it? Coming up next. All right, well, welcome to today's episode where we're talking about that stuff right back there. Why you got to stand right in the way, Blondie? Oh my gosh, you goofball. That stuff right there is garden fleece. For those of you who have never seen it or don't know what it is, let me give you the rundown. It is this really thin, fibrous, breathable stuff. I have seen all kinds of people use it. Charles Dowding uses it extensively. It's supposed to provide some frost protection and do all sorts of other awesome things. So this year I finally got some to try out. And I want to show you just briefly the results that I found when using it with early spring plantings of lettuce. And I mean early. By far the earliest I've ever planted lettuce out. And I inadvertently did a little experiment right back there that I want to show you. Let's turn it around and take a look. Okay, so here's the experiment that we inadvertently did. Hello, cat. Thank you for joining us. Um, Tigger, why are you? You're just coming. You're looking for some attention, aren't you? Yeah, I see how it is. Okay, anyway, what we have here, people, is three stages of lettuce development based entirely on the fleece. And so here's what I see because I watched it happen. These three lettuce plants out here were never, ever, ever covered with the fleece. It just wasn't long enough. This is what's left over from the other piece. This is what was cut off. I covered what I could. These three lettuces right here were sometimes covered, kind of like they are now. Quite honestly, before the lettuce underneath grew, the fleece could stretch a little bit farther and it was, hi honey, hi, hi there. It, it was able to cover these lettuces here behind Tigger too. Um, so we had some good stuff happen in there. But then, cat, you're in the shot. <laughs> okay, but then we finally opened the fleece the other day. Go ahead, Blondie. And this is the lettuce underneath. Look at that difference. Okay, no fleece, little bit of fleece, whole lot of cat head. <laughs> you're getting out of there. Okay, let's try that again. No fleece, a little bit of fleece, always fleece. Like, look at that difference in that growth. Like, I'm going to come down here and just go nice and slow so you can see the insane difference in those heads. Like, it's just an absolutely phenomenal amount of growth. Like, and those ones back there look the way they look because I picked them last night. And I got a huge harvest of salad. I'll drop in the picture. Off of just, I think, six little clumps of lettuce. Basically, I got a massive amount of lettuce for salad last night for dinner. So we'll kind of zoom away so you can see the different sizes. Hey, do me a favor. If you're getting some value from this content, drop down there. Give it a little thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing because we have lots of great content to share. And the more people who see this and me squinting in the sunshine the more it gets viewed by others, which helps our channel grow, which is what we want because we're just here to help you build epic soil that feeds your body and your soul in the process. So thanks for being here. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get back to the footage. Okay, so my take on this stuff, massively worth the investment, particularly if you're really pushing the envelope with the early spring plantings, trying to get stuff in the ground. That lettuce right there is living proof that there is a difference. Now, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you, I don't have footage of it. I put it down on the ground and then I acted like it wasn't there. It's just held down with these bricks. It's blown around in the wind. It's flopped around in the wind a little bit. No ill effects so far. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I watered, I just pretended it wasn't there. Okay, so that means when I came through with the sprinkler and I was watering things, I just watered right over top of the fleece and let the water run down through the fleece and it worked just fine. I set up sprinklers in between these two beds and let it run like crazy. It worked just fine. So cover your stuff, 
pretend like it's not even there, water it, whatever you normally do, treat it like normal, and you'll see the results that we had there. We couldn't believe how moist the soil was underneath the fleece when we opened it for the first time two or three days ago. Like my wife popped it open while we were down here weeding a little bit and it was literally dumbfounding how moist and cool it was underneath the fleece and just the growth is, I mean, you can see it's phenomenal. So highly recommend it. I think it's awesome. I'll put some links down in the description if this is something you're interested in so you know where to find it. There's literally hundreds of varieties to choose from online. I think I got this off of Amazon. So wherever you can find it, get it. I will tell you I tried to find it at Home Depot and they don't sell this kind of stuff. So if you're looking for horticultural fleece, you might have to go online or go to a garden specialty store to find it. All right, there you go. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Get outside and get growing because life's better when it's lived outdoors.